you know, you talk about this. What was your secret to your longevity with Randy? Because you were the longest ever, it seems, pair team, um, still skating together even a handful of years ago. What right. was that secret to that longevity? What would you tell skaters if the United States figure skating allowed you or, or wanted you to be in that role of talking to these young teams? Um, basically, it's you got to have the same goals. That was that was key in, in our partnership, having the same goals, knowing that a, a 12 or 13 or 14 year old girl, young teen is going to grow. Mm -hmm. As you know, Jenny, it happens. Yep. We're women. Mm -hmm. We get boobies. Yeah. We get kids. Let's have those curves. <laughs> we get curves. It all changes. And, you know, for a year, maybe even a, over a year, things are going to be off. That's Mother Nature. Um, but if you can get through it, that just shows that you're determined to be a great skater, be a great pair skater or a solo skater. It's just, it's go, it, it's going to happen. Um, and I think that scares a lot of the teams. They don't want to take the time to let the girl's body, you know, grow normally. Um, and they get frustrated. So it's, it's what I would tell them is, no, you're going to have a not one or two years that you're going to be off, but stick with it. I don't know. I think, I, think maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so frustrated with it. I'm, you know, I, I've tried. I've reached out and hear nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that just, you know, that's sad because they're they're neglecting some of the best U.S. pair skaters that we've had, and they don't, you know, nothing. Too bad. Guess, what role do you think the coaches have? Do you think it's a lack of some of the coaches having that international experience and big perspective to get these pairs, or you know, coaches looking for success? too quickly and always trying to get the next best thing. I right. Mean, I think it, you, you, you hit it right there. We call it the quick fix. I, I can't relate to the quick fix. I don't know. I don't, I can't comprehend the quick fix. It, you know, we, we grew at a natural progression, you know, junior champions, senior champions, you know, we didn't always win in the end we started winning, but that's because we stayed together and we looked like a pair team, you know, Two is one, forever two is one. I look at pair teams now and it, it's, it's, yes, they have those fabulous tricks, but it's almost like watching two solo skaters and then they'll throw a trick and then, the, you know, there's, there's no togetherness. There's nothing, I don't see it. I don't see it. I miss it. So therefore, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. It's not interesting to me. Mm -hmm. I think that's I, part of the problem with the new system, wouldn't you say, Dave, too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's the, the tricks are, are, are so difficult. And you see skaters, not just pair skaters, solo skaters too, getting hurt because of all of these difficult tricks. And I miss, I miss the skating. I miss the free skating. I miss, you know, Janet Lynn and Dorothy Hamill and Peggy Fleming. And it's not, you know, you talk to anyone, non-skaters, and they don't know what's going on in skating now. They don't know the system. They don't know the points. If I don't even know how it's working, how can some a non-skater know? And, and therefore, you lose your audience. You lose um, selling seats in an arena. It all, it, all, you know, it all factors into it. And no one seems to understand that, that that's the problem. There's it's like that magic has been taken out of it. Absolutely, the magic's been taken out. You know, there's a handful. There, there's Jeremy Abbott, who's who's magnificent. He seems to he he gets it. He gets it. He's got the difficult tricks, but the but Jeremy is a beautiful skater. He reminds me of Robin Cousins, um, Patrick Chan, uh, Adam Rippon, who I you know just recently spent some time with. There's a handful that that can do it, but still, I feel so bad because it's it's. It's it's too much to me. They're, they're, they seem so nervous. Um, even before they get out there, you can see the mind just thinking, trick, 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 trick. If I do this, i got to take out this. If I miss that, it, and, and you lose it. You lose the beauty of it. And getting back to some of the, the pair dynamic, how important do you think it is to recognize the strength of each partner? Because a couple years ago, um, in 2011, Caitlin Yankowskis and John Collin, you know, they finished six at the World Championships, and nothing's ever really on the record in skating, you know, right. but the story went something like her coach didn't feel that she could land the, you know, difficult throws, allegedly, and she had tryouts behind her back with someone who could. So how important is it that that coach really, you know, maps out to each partner, you might not be 
the artistic skater, but your partner's bringing that. So you need them. You know, it is right. the people. Um, once again, it's, I don't know, I don't get, because they, I did watch those two. Um, and they were beautiful. She was beautiful. And it, it, I, I was as shocked as anyone else. I, it's like, where, where was the, what was the thinking in, in letting her go? They were just starting to get their momentum and their, and their forever two is one kind of look. And, and boom, they're gone. He's on to the next. I, you know what? I don't know. I, I don't have an answer. I don't, I don't, I'm not in the coach's brain. Mr. Nix would never do, do that. Ron Luddington you know, I don't think would do that. You just have to squeak it out and, and, and at least give it a try, give it your best shot. And I, I, I don't see that now. Well, uh, talking about strengths and weaknesses of skaters, uh, what Dave brought up, what yes. do you think when you look at your career, uh, you and Randy, you were so known as skating again forever, two as one, as one, it, a right. one almost one entity on the ice. What did you bring to the pair and what did Randy bring and how did you guys balance each other out? We um, we were very much alike. Um, as Mr. Nick says, I was the rose and Randy's the stem and he is the, you know, the boy presents the girl. Um, I think with Randy and I, what we brought to the, to the table in pair skating was that balletic quality was the style you know we we were limited in our tricks because of the height difference um so mr nix was so brilliant in in focusing on and back then we could do that the ina bowers the you know the spirals held for you know almost around the whole rink um and just that that mirror image which you know the russians were different They're, the russians and the east germans back then had the tricks they still have the tricks um so it set us apart and people, people, fans love that. It was very much in the vein of Ken Shelley and JoJo Starbuck, who are our skating idols. And that's, you know, that's what we brought to the table was the balletic um, quality to our skating. And it set us apart.